Ruben Frank of Comcast Sportsnet Philadelphia covers the Eagles, and he joins this uh, joins us now. I, I guess there's that knee jerk reaction that you would expect in Philadelphia, but let's move past that. What should the reaction be to all of this in Philadelphia, Ruben? Well, I think uh, just everyone's mystified. And like you said, you know, we're all kind of waiting for that moment where we're like, oh, this is what he's doing. But, you know, so far we don't have any clarity on that. Uh, and it's really tough to see a Jeremy Macklin leave, a LaShawn McCoy leave, a Nick Foles leave, and see the big picture that this football team's getting better. Now, it's it's not even the middle of March yet, and it's six months before opening day, so there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen. Uh, but, you know, these are very popular, very successful, uh, very productive, uh, durable players here uh, that this team has moved on from. And the payoff is Sam Bradford, uh, a guy whose last two seasons have ended with ACLs and uh, even when he's been healthy, has not been very good. And Nick Foles is a guy that's 14-4 and four under Chip Kelly with, what, 42 touchdowns and, and 12 interceptions. Uh, so I, I think people are kind of – Listen, Chip is is a is a visionary. He's innovative. Uh, he's got great ideas, and I totally agree with what you said in the open. That uh, out of the box thinking is healthy. It's it's good. It's good for the league. It's good everywhere uh, in, in any job. But uh, you know, everyone's kind of just waiting to see where this leads. And with with each move, I think that the doubt creeps in more and more. Uh, that maybe there is no payoff. Maybe there is no no genius move at the tail end of all these mystifying moves. Biggest risk, losing Foles, McCoy, or Macklin? Macklin. Well, I, I think running backs, and like you said, you know, Chip Kelly's a, he, he's a Bill Belichick disciple. Belichick believes running backs are, are disposable. They're interchangeable. He had an $11 million cap hit. A lot of touches in, in the last six years. Uh, Nick Foles is a guy who had a lot of upside, but again, he, he's you know he's never even played a full season. But Jeremy Macklin uh, was such a perfect fit for this offense. A guy who catches the deep ball, uh, who's tough, uh, you know, who's a good blocker, who's smart. I mean, gosh, he has in eight games with Nick Foles this year, he had almost 800 yards and eight touchdowns, and he's having a tremendous season until Mark Sanchez took over and couldn't get him the ball really. Uh, so Jeremy Macklin is, I mean, he's an all-time great Eagles receiver uh, before his 27th birthday. So uh, losing all those guys uh, is, is big. But losing Jeremy Macklin, I, I think, and a guy they really should have resigned, uh, is the biggest loss so far. Does any of this lead to Marcus Mariota? Well, you know, I, I don't see how. And You know, they just gave up a second-round pick uh, yeah. along with Nick Foles. Uh, if they had gotten a second-round pick, then, you know, or if they'd gotten the Rams' first round pick, you know, then then you start to. But I just don't see how. And and obviously, Chip would love to have Mariota. He had him for a year in Oregon. Uh, he he you know he fits what he wants in a quarterback. So maybe he's got something up his sleeve. And I think that's what everybody in the city's kind of clinging to right now. That somehow they're going to flip Bradford into Mariota, but. Honestly, this is a guy who hasn't finished a season in two years. He's he's won 18, 18 out of what forty nine starts in his career. Uh, he's been hurt. Uh, he's not accurate. He doesn't throw many touchdowns. Uh, to, to think that you might be able to take Sam Bradford banged up and injured and ACLs and, and flip him for a, a top five pick that could land you Mariota, uh, I just don't see how that's realistic. Ruben, thanks for joining us. I know you got a busy day. We appreciate it. Anytime you got it. All right. That's Ruben Frank, Comcast Sportsnet Philly.